Hello and welcome. My name is Snotty Fox and I am playing Firewatch. Now, Firewatch is a game that I've been waiting uh, for some time to play. I just I haven't had the time to get around to it. Um, it's it's set in the Wyoming wilderness. You are a um, a lookout named Henry. Uh, your your job is to kind of ensure that people and the environment stay safe. And let's get started. Now, one thing I really like about this game is kind of the art of it. It's, it's just something that was very uh, appealing to me when I was uh, browsing through games quite a while ago. This is Boulder, Colorado in 1975. I see Julia. Or you see Julia. Oh. <laughs> I'm supposed to click on that. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. Let's approach her. You are drunk. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. So what's your, you know, major? You, 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 you're pretty. She says, cool, you are not. <laughs> you are a future hangover. What, you reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Nice. True love in a bar. All right, left click to use objects. Grab this. I take it this is my trusty old truck here. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. <laughs> All right. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. You pick up the beagle, and she names him Bucket. You adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. Hmm. What do we do? feel like we should have the dog who protects her, but she really likes Bucket, and that's a pretty awesome name for a dog. Bucket is a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him, too. All right. 1979. You talk out on the deck at summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple of little idiots. Uh, yeah, let's do it. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. She says you're absolutely right. And I slam my car door. All right. Thorough fail trailhead. Do not forget to check in. You're in their country. Learn to love the bears. Oh, so there's a zoom button. All right. Is there a you are here? No. That's that's good. Hmm. Warning. Not recommended for inexperienced hikers. No fireworks. Well, I think. 
Did I grab my backpack and whatnot? So I'm heading down some random trail. There's some notes. Nope. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Um, let's just ignore her. Let's not, let's not lose our, our mind here. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny, <laughs> onto a tiny pill of resentment. Make some coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Julia was right. You, <laughs> you are very pretty. Oh, right. <laughs> Sometimes I forget I have to click on them. There you go. Ah. And we're still not sprinting. <laughs> Do I have like binoculars or just have really good vision? Like a, like a hawk. Two forks tower. Eight more miles. Is there a jump? Space bar. Alright. Ah, uh -huh. see? Like that graphic is great. They did a really good job. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy a walking bucket. <laughs> There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with an eye. Oh, that's pleasant. Bucket gets cut. <gasps> ba 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 fa da da. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. Let's kick his ass. No one hurts my dog. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get weighed, way, waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale's in Connecticut. Connecticut! Uh, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she can be... <laughs> oh, no. Well, I guess we can make a joke out of it. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it off if that's what she wants. She agrees, flies back to Boulder three times each semester. So we're compromising. 1985, Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on collar for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Let's do the the adult thing. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Well, this is getting kind of dark. Let's read my journal. Oh, God! <laughs> What is this? Bucket is getting older. Julie comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason. It has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days, you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days, you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You, you tell her family. 
They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your years following Julie around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You're determined to care for her. Let's do it! We can do it! All right. Another trail. My eagle vision. I keep, I keep trying, I keep trying to sprint, but there is no sprint button. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Where'd it go? It's cool. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for, for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like, oh, let's make sure. <laughs> let's lock her in there while she's sleeping. All right, uh, you go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. One night you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. They tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't you don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer's coming up and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. So I'm guessing that um, this job is going to be this new lookout job. Enter the lookout tower. I just really like the art in this game. It's just, it's very kind of whimsical. And I just, I don't know, it's just something about that kind of art style that I enjoy. All right, let's enter. Turn on the power. Where is the power? There it is. Nice. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Ooh. Pick up that radio. Hold left shift to activate radio. Uh oh. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Smart ass. Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Yeah. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... What, sleep? Forever? <laughs> Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Turn this thing on. Hmm. What's this for? The singular mind. You're just gonna wait me out on this? <laughs> Ugh, uh, fine. But I'm gonna take a second here and have a guess about you. Fine, Cone. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. 
Is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Nice. Day one. Few hours of daylight Let's to get some say, work in. I can see you at your day. desk, so call me when you're ready. So we just gotta answer the radio call. Hiked last night, got lost, blah 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 blah. Let's just chat. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. Whoop. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Nice. Oh. Yeah, Jesus. I There's all the beer that he needs out here. 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Nice. It's my map. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You used it's it the Firefinder. You it. Fi what the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. What's Out that? your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Fireworks. Are those fucking fireworks? Oh, and to use my compass. I just happen to be facing the right way. Oh, right, west. She said west. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? All right, all right. Whoa, that's not legal, right? So pushy. Uh, no. I'll get, get those damn right kids. Stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. The Ooh, closest ranger is like damn. two days away. Go down there and set them straight. <laughs> like, yeah. kick the shit out of him sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. <laughs> Just make sure Let's they kick don't their do asses. It. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. Is there, there a rope be in here? should one supply box on the way. The code is supply. 1234. It's actually that for... Oh, them. there's a cash box. Um, convenient. Yeah. That's one word for it. <laughs> Can I go now? And we're off. We. I still don't know if I can sprint. All right, press M to read the map. Okay, so I need to go that away. I think, All right? 306, should be a path over here somewhere. Here we go. Where's that box? Oh, there's the outhouse. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom. You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Poopies. Well, number one, at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Yeah, I want to throw it in there. Hey. <laughs> it's the you know the simple things in life. All right. I think I'm. Am I going the right way? Whoop. Um. No. This way. What's behind that? <laughs> All right. Now, okay. Now I'm going the right way. <laughs> that was very confusing. I guess I'm putting it away. This one? 
It's gotta be this way. Nope. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. I am, I am terrible with directions. Okay. I think I was going right the first time. Like going the right way, but... I hear the fireworks! Alright, now now we're going the right way. We'll follow this path till we get to 306. I think I remember the passcode being like 1234. I'll get some rope and go yell at these dang kids with their conflab fireworks. Bring that, bring that back up. Okay. Let's vault over the tree. So I have to put this away first. Ah, that's annoying. All right. Going for a walk in nature. Um, I think that's the cache there. Um, one, bingo, all right, rope, deal with those people, what's this, I want a granola bar, I want to eat it, I'll leave it in there I guess, I should probably close this thing. What am I doing? Oh, I updated my map. Close that. Where's my key? Or the lock. I guess I don't need to put the lock on there. Alright, now where are these fireworks coming from? You said west. I believe that way. Can't really see anything. But I believe it is the west where they are coming from. Ah, there's the sprint key. It was R, which is weird. This view. This vista is incredible. Which one? Uh, down the hill from my this tower. Is, this is this There's is this is pretty awesome. The rest of, well, everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. Oh, nice! You're so kind. All right, I can hear him, but I can't see him. Am I running? Okay, there we go. Tog jogging. All right. It's gotta be down this way, right? Yep. I am going the right way. Let's, let's attach the rope there. And away we go. Um. <laughs> that makes it easier. <laughs> no, no, oh, no! crud. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> oh. Let's report hey. that one. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Just we'll my spirit. Just my spirit. I think I'm still supposed to be heading west. I feel like the sun's going down. Okay. Port the meadow. Hell of a nice camping spot. These cliffs down here are something. Hey, I'm not sure where to look. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. It 
sure is nice. What are these? Beer cans, huh? Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, that Littering's just found where they're hanging out. Bad. What's that? A backpack, eh? Let's see. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck Ooh. with them. The last thing we need is some hikers uh -oh. filing a report about harassment. Campfire. Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess uh -oh. that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, Somebody might be naked. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people... Uh, what if they're naked? <laughs> Won't oh. that be exciting? Oh. Look, they're obviously still there, so oh. tell them off oh. and then head back. It's getting a little risque here. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. A pair of panties! Uh, there are, uh, <laughs> panties. <laughs> there are what? Panties. I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? Another bra. There's a uh, ooh. And more panties. Yes. <laughs> there are two <laughs> naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? <laughs> Come on. I like naked ladies same as anyone, but this, uh, you know. Two? Yeah. I found them in the lake. <laughs> Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Hello ladies. Oh, Enjoy dealing with that. <laughs> Teams, let's throw the party's over. <laughs> Fight another firework, and it won't be your stereo, Iraq. Oh, fuck you, psycho. That's yeah, rude. Fuck you. Whoa. You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Find a way back. Oh. I I envisioned that this stream was gonna be much wider from how it so looks on the map. I have a bit of a confession to make. Uh oh. What is it? Um look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Oh, I'm feeling bad now. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Damn anyway, right you will. Let me know when you get back to your lookout. If I ever get back to my lookout. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> Should probably look at my map. Oh, well, that doesn't seem like it's too much longer. We'll just follow the river. Oh crap! Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, thanks That's for letting bad, me know. Right you know. Of the lightning. It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, that would be good. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old. <laughs> There's so some useless I crap you didn't want to know. Strike twice, all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning Ooh. seven times. I don't like the sound of that. I yeah, don't know what well, this if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? How do I? Maybe it's another one, two, three, four. Hey, hey, Eureka! I don't need that. Oh, there's a flashlight. That doesn't work. Ah! Ah! Brilliant! What's that? So F toggles my flashlight. Oh, there's a cave! Let's inspect the cave! What could go wrong? What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. 
Nice. But in the cave, I don't know, rocks. NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. Dangerous. So, so I say, fuck it. You're a grown man. You can go where you want. <laughs> Make my own damn decisions. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. <laughs> It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no! <laughs> nice. Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> nice. Let's play with the echo. No! This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without Those getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Spelunkers. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them right. like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, boy. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Where am I? Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Oh, I just gotta make my way, I'm guessing, down here. And we're good. Put that map away. Let's get moving. Figure. What's that? Oh my god. What is that? There's a person up there. There's some guy out here. Some guy? It's creepy. <laughs> it was an, like Wait, an is alien. Is he looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I, I don't think so. He already left. Henry, there's, there's something I... Oh, something crap. Someone should have told you about this area. What is it? There's a mass murderer. It's outside. <laughs> come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere <laughs> is part of the fun. Oh, that's... I guess that's not... You know, a murderer, so that's good. Alright, let's get back... Before the storm hits here. Get back into the... Lookout. What's this? Typewriter, you're coming with me. What I need this typewriter for, or if I even need it. What was that? Uh, uh, it asked me to do something. Oh, report vandal. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even notice the broken glass. Someone broke in. Hey, what? It was bastards. They, they the place, threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Jeez, I bet it was those damn girls and their fireworks. There's, There's glass, glass everywhere. everywhere. What's that? The birds of Wyoming. All right. Okay, I put in a call. Thanks. Well, that was, that fast. was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? <laughs> uh, let's assume it was I those did probably girls. Off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's that about stun? it. And oh, now cool. I've got to worry about some what violent campers. See, this is this is this is pretty cool. Again, uh, okay. in the morning, the I'll call my just... Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They Great. keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Names? We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. <laughs> My first day <laughs> has not indicated such. Don't worry about it. Okay, oh, why did I pick the gun one? I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. Is there any fires on the Firefinder? Day two. Wake up. All right. Well, that hey, is. Up. Oh, she's still talking to me. <laughs> That is all the time that I have for this video. So um, hit like if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe 
if uh, you'd like to see more. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. So long.